Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. What's going on guys? It's Son of Beast here and welcome back to another Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. I, it's not only me now because now I have a special guest who is here with us. At this point, it all goes to the one. You may recognize it, but now Sniper Beast is in a pregame show. Welcome in, Sniper. I uh, thank you so much, there, there, partner. I was able to see what goes on with this one, and what a great win for Dallas this last game is. It's been turning great after all. Appreciation is definitely for all the honors. Can't wait to hear that. Yeah, I really do. And we have this kind of a night's nice game. What is it called? Oh man, I would never see what goes this. We've got the Golden Knights facing against the Vancouver Canucks, and right now they're back at Rogers Arena. Yeah, I don't care about this one. I call about the Dallas Stars who bring this game in. Let's go to the mile high down the south. <laughs> well, it might be doing it anyway, but we'll see what happens. Well, I hope there's gonna be a bright chance here. I'll never win. So let's hope there is another chance for the winner. And now for the last commentaries I will have is, all you know him for is Boomer, and he's also along with the other commentators as well, with Silver Spoon. And then it's across the other end, we have a, on the other side is OJ, and the center ice is all you name for, that calls for one of our biggest of the moment. And you're about to be seeing one of our types, it's paintbrush on the center ice. And we'll be back with you shortly for the post game show after this. And now it's time for game time. Folks, what do you got? Take it away, boys. And we'll see you back later soon. See ya, everybody, after the final period. Hello everyone, it's Boomer here, and I'm here at Vancouver at Rogers Arena. It's a rematch between the Vegas Golden Knights and the Vancouver Canucks. Along with me, Boomer, and Silver Spoon, and OJ, Center Ice's paintbrush, this is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Let the games begin. On the start, here's Arkansas. Big save and a rebound puts it in, but as a Mornick will have it. On the other side, we'll take it over into the left wing. With a shot! Big stop here by Ian Hill. Marchessault with the puck here, now covering it up here for the Vegas Golden Knights. On its way down to Carlson. Big stop here on a chain. Carlson now finds it again, and Martinez shoots it. Way off the mark! And a rebound picked in scores! Jonathan Marchessault with his good rebound effort after it out the glass and went in and net. Well, that tricky mention doesn't even to happen at all, because that happened to be Margaret Sons' first goal. Shocking starts. Now, what's what happened? Off the net at the top of the angle of the crossbow, this is what happened to Margaret Sons made that zone rebound. Taking it over, it wasn't really easy at all, but that took it a little bit of a helpful way to get right to it. Well, it's a big problem right now. I mean, I don't know what is causing this one here, but they are playing like they never seen anybody like that. Because that happened to be with the puck going back in the net, it's what they don't really do. They have to really try to get over this, and they have to try to like stop somebody up. It's going to be a hard take, but I have no confidence of how this is going to happen, because that is going to be a hard pressure to take in. What a great goal for Jonathan Marchessault. Great news, this is the puck as Marchessault has first goal in the playoffs in Vancouver. Now here's Carlson on the right wing. Taking a big kick as Hotlander will have the puck back. Toward the left wing. Moves it across. Loses the puck in range and right behind the net. And here's Petrangelo. Right over to get a barbershop. Give it along by Petrangelo. Amadio with the puck now into the Vegas to the Vancouver zone. Takes a big hit as Miller with the rebound. Gives it over to Quinn Hughes. Quinn Hughes will have sailed that puck out. Now Amadio will have the puck in there. Give it a quarter now back again to Mikhail. Okay. Shoots it! Big save on the play, bringing by Aiden Hill. 
Yeah. It's not really what you expect of what Aiden Hill has been putting in there. About a takeover, it's not really what they're all have to say for this now. But he has to be out there confident with all of the pressure tape. It's going to be a hard job to do it right. JT Miller shot, and it's off the blocker. It goes right toward the corner. The Golden Knights are back into the offense as Petrangelo has it again to Amadio. Right toward the right wing. Leases the puck up for Amadio gets the barber shot. Shoots it. Makes the shot. And this man is off and misses the net. Ozura with the puck. Ozura over to Miller. And now it's Queen Goose with the puck. Right toward the middle. Sliding a puck in for between the zones. Over to Freeman. Freeman shoots it. And it's off and wide off the glass and behind the net. McNabb has the puck in. McNabb trying to look over it. Cole takes the puck away. Now he finds a little bit again to Lindholm. Lindholm. Pass broken up. Mura again to Cotter. The Knights are in the attacking zone. Goals are shot. Save puts up by Tatra Demko. Cole gets it again to Darwin. In his own entry on the attack. McNabb with the puck steal. Now he rolls over to Cotter. Cotter trying to make his way down right towards the other slot. Lifts the puck up in the air, and it's down back to Freeman. Freeman with the puck now finding again to Pokoska. Here's a shot, and there's a penalty call. That will be Shea Fido with his first penalty in the penalty box. Well, not a good at all, because that turned to be a little slashy. And yes, they definitely get caught in the eye. They're going to get their first power play and get right to it. The Golden Knights have their first penalty kill. This will be a power play start for the Vancouver Canucks. As the win will put it up for Vegas Golden Knights, he will try it early to try it early to get right to it. But he does it again to Garland. Here's and Wade Garland gets it back to Sir. So they shot off of the collection of the skater and goes right back over into the Knights. Martinez with the buck, he will fire it out. Miller recovers the rebound. 135 left to go on the power play. Big kick take down. Hey, gets it over to get to Carlson. Carlson looking for show again to the second set with the shot pass saved up off the goal post and it goes back to second set. Carlson shot, big save, puts it in. Dr. Dip goes in a little bit of a hard wrap pressure but hopefully he might help it out. Here's me with the power play. Looking for a short hand to as it's stopped again by Dr. Demko. That is it. Try to get it out. Garland's got that puck. Racing in right toward the inbound, finding Sutter. Sutter shoots it. Sink puts it in. Trying to get the puck back. Sutter stuck up in the corner. 45 seconds for the Vancouver Canucks power play. Hey, we'll try to deep the puck out of here. Out of the zone. In the center ice. As Garland will have it. Garland moving in. Swivel the zone. Oh, saved by a hill. Hey, try to get that back out of here. JT Miller. Has a fucking chance. The deep pass. No offside call for, for the Canucks. Edison shoots it. Misses the target. Martinez trying to grab the puck out of here. Looks like that somebody's going to get out there. I think everybody can go for an air take. The Canucks ended up their power play. That will be 0-1 in the fifth game. Well, a great delay and chance effort. All for the, the short-handed goals in the attack, it was really what they were expecting them. Why well, well doesn't mean that he got that through. And I know it didn't really help at all. Because no one had gotten a piece of it. No one's taking care of it, and no one has given a good look out of it. You see what happens. They really are trying to, like, find someone to get that goal. It's not always easy when you get there. Hoggledo with the puck. On the backhander, misses the target. Morelli with the puck. 13 minutes remaining in the first period. Rolls it over to Denisenko. Moronic grabbed that puck back. Lindholm's got that cross. Here's another take. McNabb's got it now. And a takeover right around the net. Moronic with the puck. Now he will try to find the airway to Moronic. Going for a shot. This one's kicked off the pad shortly, and now wills it again. Leno trying to battle the puck out of here. Hoffman with the puck, gives it again to Horonic. Horonic can't get enough to go as Kittle tries to stop the puck. Well, the problem doesn't really happen to what 
They are expecting. They don't really know what's going on. And this is what I can't even think of. They gotta get somebody else in open. Elias Person is one of Snipe's own abilities, taking for a great on his world, better of his, of his attacking. The better zone is, he has a great Snipe's own ability, guys. He might be looking for himself to get a fifth goal with the tape. Slaughter. Slaughter all around the back of the net. He gives him again a goal. Full shot. Peter takes it away as Connor has it. Slaughter. One on one. Shot has been knocked out. Tachi Demko tries to get the puck out of here. Rolls around the net. And the puck winds back into the Vegas zone. Aiden Hill will try to give over to Martinez. Closer with the puck. 2 on the, on the opportunity range. Freeman with the puck steal. Rolls it all over. Now into the left wing. Trying to come on in. Step on the shot. And a big save puts up by Aiden Hill. Freeman over it again to Sutter. Sutter fires it. That went high and it's went off the mark and goes back to Pertangelo. It's not easy when you just take the snipe zone. Don't have it hit too high though. Here's Sutter. Sutter with the puck steal, now back the airway to go. In the Vegas zone. And he loses the puck. Martinez gets again to Stephenson. Stephenson trying to move over in. The attack finding Barbashev shot. Big step on the chain here by Tatra Demko. Joseph now finding it again. If pass broken up to seven ten. Marbuchev shoots it. Missed the target wide. It's off the defender. The good save. He goes to P over it again to Martinez. Seven ten. Blocks a shot. But Purdy has that puck in Brown. Great step playable at this point. Crouch down. Block the shot. Don't take too much effort. It's not going to be easy when you take it. Boston's got that puck. Brisa shoots. Pass safe. Puts it in by Tatra Demko. Hey, gives it to get a shot. Good stop on a play by Tatra Demko. Sarov gives it over to get a blooper. Blooper again to get a good with the puck now in the corner. That's the midway mark of the period in the first. Right over to the store step. Rayson moves it around. Goes it away by the goaltender. Missouri with the puck. Now he will try to fix it again, now finding a lower way. In the open look, loses the puck range. Lose that puck. Now Pretrangelo will have it. On a shot, big stop here by Tatra Demko. Corona, trying to get the puck out of here on his own. Now it's Marcuso with the recovery. Hey, shoots it. And it's stopped and taken over by Quinn Hughes. Gives it up again to Horona. Again to Mikhaev. Mikhaev moving around again. Going in, White Cloud takes a buck seal. We saw him. A Lord ain't stuck that far. Trying to roll it in here and go back the other way. Now he will try to go over to get a McKay. Oh, with a shot and take! Hill takes a stop. And we'll hold that, hold that puck here with just only 808 to go. It looks like Bluger is a little bit blocked up, but you've got a little bump down of here. It looks like he went down, and he's going to have to rush back over it. I'm sure he's okay, but I don't think he is it. Lots of time left in this period. one nothing. still the score, Vegas Golden Knights. The wing puts it in for the Canucks. Block the shot, and the airway going to Brisa. On a shot for the rebound! This one's Aiden Hill takes it out. Cruz with the puck. Trying to roll it in to the other side of the zone. Keeps it around the net. Rolling it over. On a one on one opportunity. He just takes the buck away. Now finds Garland. Garland trying to answer that back. 7.33 left to go to the first. Moves it over. On a shot. Loses that effort as Lindholm gives it again to Garland. Garland shot. Blocker stop made by right Eden Hill. Now both go skip. Pass it over again to Lindholm. Lindholm spins around. Going in for the tank. And he scores! Now the Mason will take his own rebound and he gets that goal, ties it up. Man, we're going to know that happened to be with the same, but this one, he's a guy, he said, I want it, I'm going to take it over at this point. Now, what's going to happen is that player will just miss it, never come around the club, he doesn't know what the great turn is. He just had that with his nose contest at the end. You know what he never does it? Nobody. They are tied up right now for one and one on the goal. It's a tie game with 7.14 to go. 
Stephenson wins the face off. Now Barbashev will have the puck. And he gives over to get to Stephenson. Moving around again. And it's Patterson with the butt seal. Here Kurt, look at this chance. Patterson with a 2 0 one fast break and a stop made by Aiden Bill. That was a little bit of effort on a stronger attack. I say Elias Lundholm, he just had that one with a no contest, however, that happened. But that rebound, nothing to take. Great stop here by the goaltender. Now, another take here for the Golden Knights, and now he gives it again to Amadio. Amadio right to the other side of it. Pick a big down. And a big stop here by Tatcha Demko. Cole's got that puck here, now trying to make his way across into the night zone. Cole with the starter shot. Redirected, it goes back again to Fiedler. Here's a chance now to, to Stephenson. Stephenson try to answer it in. With a shot, stop made by Tatcha Demko. Six minutes left to go in the first period. Both teams tied up. For the take of Alex Petrangelo, he has a one of his shutdown ability that has taken over with the defensive slide set. He has a lot of them to take him to all the courtesy to put it effort. Elias Pedersen has that one with a great chance of a snipe. That's why a longer snipe does. He takes that one and just makes it up with an incredible moment. I'll try to find out of those two will be taken in here, but this is what I am more willing to see for Trangelo and Pedersen. Back to you guys. And the win puts it in for Martinez for the Knights. Petrangelo's shot. Carlson rebound it. Great stop here by Tatcha Demko. Marcel will pull pressure and this one stopped by Demko. 541 left to go in the first period. Now use the take for Tatcha Demko. Tatcha Demko is one of the ultimate marketing of his better saving and a while on the recalling for a better look. That's why his ability is called night work. Because if this happens, a better one is putting up a lot of saves. He definitely wants to make a wild one to try to keep it out. Miller, that's a buck. Now finds it over again to Corona. And a delayed penalty is going to be a holding call on Vegas Golden Knights. Oh yeah, that's not even happening. Because of what happened now, that's another penalty kill. It's going to be a hard take they have it. And he will stop that puck here with just a 5-12 to go. Jonathan Marchessault in the penalty box. This will be a holding call. Now they're ready for their next power play. 0-1 for the for Vancouver Canucks, and now this will be another take if they will have the power play at all. Now they're ready for the face-off, we're going to see who can take the lead. And the rim puts it in for Vegas Golden Knights, and now finds Stephenson. Stephenson right toward the right wing. Dumps the puck out of the zone. Now Pedersen will have it over in the game. Stephenson, oh, that was a little close of a call here by Tatra Demko. What a great save. That's going to be a little too late already. Because if there's a call, they would be not happy at all. Stop made by Aiden Hill. Just under five minutes left to remain in the first full period of the game. Still looking for a leadoff score in between. Now the faceoff is ready to get this thing back in. For the Golden Knights and the Vancouver Canucks. Trying to find an answer with the room. The win puts it in for Vancouver. And it's over to Miller shot, and Hill makes a stop. Hill still looking like he's going to get that one in there, but it's not going to be easy when he gets the shot. Now, some of the reason is calling Mask out of whale. And why is that a thing? Well, because I know it's been definitely sharing that. I think the Orca might have some problem in there. What do you think? Well, this is because the expert from the spirits of the West Coast symbolizes the Orca. It means. It's the indigenous people that are bringing Vancouver back to where we came, that they came from. It's the mating or the symbol, or killer whales, and it symbolizes family, romance, longevity, harmony, travel, community, and protection. Well, as I know for sure that the uh, the uh, the fin the whaler is the nine that I can definitely call it. This one has to be a Canucks the same thing, but it's, here's another thing. Why do they call it that one in the Canucks name? Because in this moment, they used to be called the Whalers. Well, it might be what they are thinking, but why would they call that name? Well, you'll see what they are, what they do for the next description. And a save puts up by Aiden Gale. You know, I really have a lot of a hard feeling for the team that the Canucks are really trying to battle along. Even if they lost against the Canadian team against the Edmonton Oilers, this wasn't really easy at all to try to keep it up in there. Here's JT Miller. And a pass Garland for the lead! This one is off the glass. Off in deflection back to Garland. Garland trying to get over in there to Miller. Right near to behind the net. 
fires a shot on a rebound, puts it in there. As Martinez grabs it again to Cotter. And there's another line change, and a stop made by Tatcha Demko. This will go out of play with 3.15 to go. Now, because at this point, they are called Canucks because of more of a glorious image of Johnny Canuck helped them change the way people thought of the teams will be in Canucks. Because that happened in 1945. After the end of World War II, the Pacific Coast Hockey League expanded to Vancouver as a new franchise took the name. And as a way to honor the bravery of the Canadian soldiers who fought overseas. And this is what they all expected from the war of independent to happen. Well, you never know what happens to Canucks. They may really have to say World War II may be what they are getting for. But I know that they really are making the calls instead of a whale. But it's not that they all really typically move on, but that doesn't really have to change to everything that happened in making these occurrences. You have to make sure that this one will be okay. Block a shot, didn't really get a deflection in there. And you know, because when that happens now, because that the war is already made it finish right now, and it's the Canuck and Orca, they say it's the name of the Orca, that's why it's born in the Sissy. And definitely, here's one thing. I had to go for it in SeaWorld San Diego. How would that be the name of it? <laughs> but it's just what happens now. I mean, that's what they aim for. I mean, that's what the Sissy is just playing in. But hopefully, you might be watching in there. I don't know. <laughs> it's not what they always expect when you're watching with your wheels at home and you have some families to protect for you. Maybe you have TV. I don't think they would not have it. I mean, that would be like, okay, I don't know. Why would they watch it on TV at that point? I wouldn't say so. <laughs> if they would have been in there to change out, I wouldn't care for that. <laughs> Here's Tanisenko, he loses the puck, near the 90 second mark in the first period. Now has it again, Martinez with the puck. Tied game, still again. And Denisenko will have it in. 80 seconds left to remain in the first. Moves around the puck, gives it off to Pajangelo. On a shot, and another stop made here by Denisenko to, to Tatra Demko. Proje spins a move, this one's another stop by the goaltender. Freeman's got that puck. We are under a minute left to remain in the first period. Trying to handle it down. Oh, big hit! Oh, that one's a little bit of a smackdown already. I think the Canucks fans are just not even happy enough at all. The Golden Knights try to drop it out. Canucks back in transition again. Zanaro, deep pass to JT Miller. Or send off to Julesen. Julesen has it over to get to JT Miller. No connection here, and this one will not be taken in as Julesen has it. Over to Mikhaya for the lead. Big stop here by Eden Hill. Barbashev brings it in on the other side of the zone. Try to watch out for the attackers in. The pass over to Stephenson. And this one has been blocked up. And this will end the first period with an even game. One and one's the score. Vancouver Canucks and Vegas Golden Knights. With a great scoring chance effort, we'll see who takes in the lead in a second when we come back. Don't go anywhere. Stanley Cup playoffs will resume right after these messages. Welcome back to Rogers Arena. We're ready to start the second period of the game. And now we're ready for the face off. Ready to start the second. Both teams sign up right now as I send it over to you guys for the first period recap. Well, it seems like it was a little bit of a hard takeover with a strong effort. I was really hoping that there may be a great chance that they have it in here. All of that along, they didn't really seem to be carrying it at all. Since that happened to be the Golden Knights goal, goal, it happened to be the Golden Knights goal with the goal on the other side. I can really tell you that was a little bit of a hard, stoppable takeover with the force. May not be expecting what they're looking for. And hopefully now, I'll see if there is a chance that the Canucks have the goal in a lead or the Vegas Knights. Well, it's going to be a heavy takeover, but I'm not sure if this will be possible enough. Let's hope there is. He's going to take for potential. He will have it over. Fire it over again to the JT to the Dark Smart Assault. Catch made by Tatcha Dimko. Four Nickel has a puck in. He now will slide it across the right towards the other side of the zone. As he went down, he rolls it out of here. As Martinez with the puck again to potential again to Brisson. Brisson's got the puck. Is again to Mark Assault. Shots blocked. Two, he's not saying to give it again to Mikhaev. Mikhaev. Trying to get the puck back. Friesen's got the puck now finding it for Trangelo. The Golden Knights are back into the offensive zone. In the Canucks zone. 
on the attacking ring. Oh, that was a little close, and this one just hit off the goal post and went out. I had to be more careful with that one, but don't play it like this. It won't let it happen to worry or defend it. Now, the call for JT Miller, he has one of the better of this alternate captain, had previously played for Tampa Bay Lightning and the New York Rangers. He was selected in the first round of the 2011 NHL entry draft. And this one played for as a center or can be the winner. Well, I'm pretty sure that every team is made a little bit different now, but all that happens to be what it is, because this one is an early date, and it happened to be what they were going to go for. I mean, you can definitely play as a winger or you can play as a center, but I think the winger's are the best option. Robert Shea with the puck. Trying to work his way across. Cole takes the puck away. Garland will now have the puck back and take it out of here. Bates with the right wing. Try to answer it back. With the shot. Well, save here by Hill with the catch. 17 21 to go in the second period. Mr. Miller, he has grew up in the residential area in East Palestine, Palestine, Ohio. As a part of the school, city of the school district, and attended in kindergarten through 10th grade of sophomore. He played with his ice hockey at a young age, and participated in organized athletes including baseball and football. He played several hockey, ice hockey teams from the age of 5 through 12, before ending up with the Piston Hornets from the age 16 to 12 to 16. But now in his moment, Fans who are living in Pittsburgh suffered from the Paulopolis. They were playing for the 2006 group Quebec International Pee Wee Hockey Tournament. And what that happened with the minor team happened to be with the ice hockey team of the Hornets. In 2009, they moved to Ann Arbor, Michigan to participate in USA Hockey's two-year national team development program. Oh, what that's now? I mean, they can't let this one be an uh, exception, but I can always say for this. It's all that happens to JT Miller's early life range and can definitely happen for most of his constipation has gotten to a great moment. I always say that JT Miller has been really well on it, and, you know, definitely have to go with that. Can't lose it out with the effort, but it's uh, legendary hockey players. Always had to play for it many years, back years and years ago. Yeah, I always gotta say now. I mean, that's what uh, a reserve did to JT Miller. I mean, that's what he has been doing. He's really well enough. At age of 31, I mean, he's still young. Let him play more, if he does. Bulls are stop that puck. Now trying to get the puck out of here as McKay is again to JT Miller. Goes it away. The rebound puts it in for the Golden Knights. Miller back to the Hornet. Hornet, Hughes with the shot. Blocker stuff made here by him. Hill and the Hughes will have it out. Blocks a shot. McKay on a shot. Taking over is Hayden Hill. Great chance effort, but not enough to beat the goaltender. That's a little bit of a hard take. May not be easy when it goes with, because that is a little bit of a too dangerous slot. Got quiet since it's called a danger zone. Gotta watch the trouble. Now with the win puts it in for the Golden Knights. Here's Vicangelo. Trying to have his attack on a range. Flings the puck out. Racing's got the puck finding Carlson. And here's a shot. Blocked it off by Quinn Hughes. Hughes has got the puck. Along the board to the ever wing. And a pass to Patterson. Patterson shoots it. That saved it up. I'm trying to put up a rebound as Preston gets that puck out of here. Over and out to Carlson. Carlson trying to watch himself. Right down towards the other slot. And the pass is broken up. Martinez grabs that puck back again to Carlson. Sliding the puck across. Who just has it over to get it? Patterson. Patterson right toward the left wing. On the top of it is now potential again in the center and back in, in to the connect zone. Here's potential. With the puck chance. Going for the lead. Big safe play here by Aiden Hill. Now that's a little bit of aggression of what they're expecting to say how this is going to come up. You know what happens? They don't really just show them off that happened here. And here's Derek. And here's Connor Garland with a shot. Stopped by Hill. A pass back to Amadio. Here's 17. 13 30 left to go in the second period. 17 shoots. Stopped by Tachidemko. 1327 left to go in the second period. Still tie game. And 
tied with two and a call. Still a tie game in between Aiden Hill and Tatu Demko. The win puts it in for JT Hill. Three men over again to Bozer. Bozer again to Mikaia. Shoots it for the screen. Sevenson spins it around and he's go back to the airway. Trying to watch it for the attackers. Here's Amadea. Shot stopped made by Tatu Demko. 13 minutes to go in the second period. And the other side we call for, Quinn Hughes. He's one of his high hockey defensemen and the captain of the Vancouver Canucks. He's one of the biggest one of his draft seventh, seventh overall draft pick in the 2018 NHL draft before he was consistent as a top prospect. Because of this happened, because of his beginning of the time with the Canucks, he was nominated as a Calder Memorial Trophy. It was really what they were expecting now, but he has hold of several franchises and his NHL records for defense pick. It's really what they are expecting now, but he now knows his national team played with the USA before this happened, and it will have to go back into the airway and find another salute end to the game. Of course, he was definitely now, and now he's able to select here for the Vancouver Canucks, and he has been joining a part of the University of Michigan for the 2017 and 2018 season. Therefore, he's had a new record for the most assists by the Michigan freshman defensemen, all Big Ten freshman teams. And a second team all happened. Good stop made by Tatra Demko. When I say Quinn Gillis is really what I expected the best defenseman on a top lineup for the Big Ten, I know that playing for the University of Michigan wasn't really an easy trip. All I have to say now is what that was always being representative and definitely made his way. 2018 and 19 with the World Junior Championships and the senior national teams. I say he's doing really expecting to go for bigger plays in a moment, and I got a big step. Hopefully this will be a never change up, but this will keep it in for a real time effort. Great stop by Aiden Hill. You know that's what easy is. I mean that's what goes for Aiden Hill. I mean trying to step it out. Theodore, keep the pass over to Cotter. 11.35 left to go in the second period. Trying to lose, take the loose puck chain. And stop by Demko. Demko's going to hold on with only under 11.30 to go. Now they're set, ready for an hour faceoff. Still a tie game, looking for a leadoff score in the second. Vancouver Canucks wins the faceoff. Alone fouling along the boards. Quinn Hughes has got that puck. Now he will try to find it over again on the other side of the zone. And a pass over. With a shot. Big stop made by Aiden Hill. 11 minutes to go in the second period. He fires that, dump the puck out. Alone. Under 11 minutes to go, he finds Hughes. Over to Gang to Gorpsey. He grew up to be right over in the shot. And this one is stopped and taken over by Petrangelo. Trying to move around again to Martinez again to Pozo. Pozo gives again to Ruo. Ruo puts to Carter. Good stop by Tatra Demko with the catch. Nearing the midway mark of the period, still time. Alfred is again set ready for the faceoff. Still no score for the leadoff. Still even. And the win will put it in for the Kings of the Golden Knights. The rebound. Trying to get out of here. Cross it. Moves it over to Pochango's shot. Great blocker stuff made by Tatra Demko. Then time left to go in the second period. Grayson. Marshall shot. Big stop by Tatra Demko. Got to hold it tight now because the full pressure is coming on for Vegas. Now the teams are set ready for the faceoff. So lots of time left in the period as we already have been past the midway mark of the period. Still trying to find an answer goal. Demko made 48 saves in this game, but he now has 39. Now another chance here for the goals. Still tie game. The win off puts it in for the Vegas Golden Knights. The big on the arc. Demko. 40 saves in a row. Well, it never really meant to happen, but all you don't take is not what you really expect it to. Play like this, no other choice makes it comparable to anybody.
with the wing. He was cold. Passes again to Freeman. Freeman right toward the right wing. Tries to look at across. The pass over. Doesn't get behind the over. Freeman goes down. March himself. Battling for the loose puck. Great hit here for Holland there to get the retrieving puck. Off the fence and shot. Big save. Puts up by Hill. Holland there trying to roll and whip it around. Holland there can hold on with the puck as Juleson will try to get it back the other way over to Sutter. Sutter moving in. Puck saved by Hill. Trying to get a puck back, but it's too late as Prisa has got to be crossed again. With a chance in front, Juleson gives to Prisa. Prisa now find it over again. And a pass to Carlson. Backhander stopped made by Thatcher Demko. That was a little bit harder and aggressive now. It's already been taken over. It's not what they only have to expect because that is taking with a good covering bound with the save. Got to keep it there quick. Miller wins the face off and Wilson will have it over the game to Zedderoff. Again, to Mikhaev. Mikhaev right toward the right wing. Lose the puck effort. Trying to get a bucket and now back again to seven cent. 2 on one opportunity range shot. Save puts up by Tatcher Demko. Barber shot. White flat. Loses that up. As Mikhaev has it. Streaking right toward the one-on-one -on -one attacker. Lost control with the puck and now finding Martinez. Vegas back in the offensive zone. White Cloud, great takeover, and now Bozer for the Canucks into the Vegas zone. Bozer gives the Miller shot. Big stop here by Aiden Gale. White Cloud gives it over again to Amadio. Closes the gap out. Now as Adderoff will have it again, back to Miller. 7.30 left to go in the second period. Try to work his way across. And another stop made by Aiden Gill. Miller is again a horror. The Lord now finds a Garland with a shot. Stopping made by Aiden Gill with 7.17 to go. Just hold it when you can. You don't really want to mess this thing, Dave. Aiden Hill's really trying to keep that one in there. Show him up. Carlson wins the faceoff. Rechangelo now finding to get a Jonathan Marchesol. Marchesol first. Save puts up by Thatcher. Demko. Seven minutes remaining in the second period as Lindholm will have to try to make a scoop up ahead. Martinez tried to stop on him. And Rechangelo will now have it over on the ball. Waste again to try towards Marchesol. Cut inbound. Recover. Shoots. Save. Good stop by Demko. And he tries to get that puck out of the zone. But close game. Loses that effort. Crossing with the puck back. Crossing trying to have it over. Again, Marchessault. Lock the shot. Fuchs with the puck in back. 6.15 left to go in the second. Rolling it in. With the shot, and it misses the target. Hill with the cover stop with 6.05 left to go. You don't have to mess things up, but you don't want to kick this thing over and kick out. It doesn't really what they have mentioned you before. Don't let them get away with it. The way it in for the Vegas Golden Knights. Now it's back to Fedor. Over now to Carlson. Back to Fedor. Fedor now fighting to get a Brisa. Brisa. Toward the middle. Gives off to Marchessault and a good stop by Demko. They're in a five minute mark in the second period, still tied up in this game. Coming up, we got their game six that's going to be happening here for tomorrow night's game, as we only got a couple of games in between. Only one game has already finished. That will be happening here at 9.30 p.m. game, as we've got a great matchup in between. Don't miss this one out, as we have another new matchup here, as the Lightning are taking on against our Cone Kings. That's the next part of the game. And then two games will be happening here for game number six. That will be on the other side as we have the other taking opportunity range as we have another one coming in by. And for the game, NBA games, this will be only on the, on the other side of it. And we do have a penalty call. That goes to Vancouver for home. Like I said here before, this, the first game's going to happen. This will be an 8.30 game. That will be 8 o'clock game. Lightning versus the Hurricanes, and then the other side for the NBA. We've got a great matchup here as the Thunder take on against the Timberwolves. That will be at the Cummins 9.30 game. Um, but only that, 
and then two hockey games will happen. Vancouver Canucks and the Golden Knights happening here at 9.30 game, while the Bruins and the Maple Leafs will have their uh, possession first for 8 o'clock game. That'll be, on its, that'll be on its way on the other side of it. Keep your all games here by watching it, by watching it here on 7 Peace and subscribe to this channel. There are a lot of more games up ahead and also don't miss out the NBA. As of right now, the only game that's happening left, we only have one. And this one is going to be the finish line between the Heat or the Cavaliers. That'll be all the games here only on Center Beats. Cotter, who's the puck effort. Now back in the ring again, Joseph. 4.17 left to go. 110 in the power play for Vegas for the Knights. Scoop up along the board with Theodore, now binding Barbashev. Barbashev swings it across here, lead to weave it over. Burrow's got it. And in the middle of the shot, he scores! And that one brings up in the lead. A power play goal for the Vegas Golden Knights. Well, that's too easy now. I mean, that's what Vegas Golden Knights is doing. Got a great lead off, good tackler, got to go. Now, you don't have to see what happened because the Bruau had that one. We made it in there, and it was not always easy because that one is going to take all that pressure in. And then he finally has that great chance, great goal. The Golden Knights surpasses for Vancouver Canucks in the second period. Still looking for a chance effort here as he now will have to try to give it over and see what he can do to get back here away. Hoser with the puck. Mikhail, Hoser puck. Shot saved, puts it up by Aiden Hill. 335 left to go in the second period. He will try to find another way to get right to it. And now Hoser gives again a few. He shot and it stopped again. Now finds Barbashev. Trying to get the puck out of here. Miller finds again with Hughes. Hughes went down. No penalty regained on the gold, on the Golden Knights. Here comes Amadio for a chance for extension lead. Shoots, he scores! What a shot! Amadio with another goal for the Golden Knights. Extended up 3-1. Talk about that one here. That one puts it in with a great stopping effort. He had a little bit of a little untakeover, but that one just made it through. He finally just had that one. Coming in with the great ones, I just said, he finally got it. Just what happened now, I mean, Mike Evadio, he just really made this one in. A close-off battle range is not always easy when you give off the even Barbashev, but that one was a close contact. No penalty has regained it, and after he controlled it out, that one was a little bit of a hard aggression. They really got to find another way to get through it. And a stop made by Ann Hill with under three minutes to go in the second. Full pressure coming on for the Vancouver Canucks. This is getting set, ready for the faceoff. Still looking for a goal. It's a 3 1 game. The win puts it in for Vancouver. Martinez sees that puck. The Canucks will try to answer it in there, but it is on the and now has it for Tangelo. Petrangelo will now have it in the middle. Racing out of his own. Trying to go for extension to Barbashev. Shoots again! Rebound take! Danko stop. 2.20 left to go in the second period. Trying to have Danko stay alive and get right into it. So it's coming down toward the wire. It's a 3-1 game. Bank Vegas. Now they win the faceoff. Here's Petrangelo. Nice big verbal takedown as Marcel has to begin a Petrangelo shot. No deflection here as it's off again. Back to Hughes with two minutes to go. Now he will try to find another route. A better takeover on the angle. Lose that pressure. Returns low. Back to Marchesal. Screening around the board in. Looking for a chance in the play. On his better angle. Near the middle of it's blocked up. Marchesal finally calls it. Big stop on the pad by Tatra Dipto. Awful skin gets to get the Hughes. He now finds it over again to Pedersen. Pedersen moves over to Garland. Garland right toward the right wing. Theodore gets to get a McDad. McDad gives the Breeson. Breeson trying to enter it in here on the top. Moves that effort. He goes down. Cole has the back. Here's Garland. Toward the middle, he went down. One minute remaining in the second period. The deep pass. Oh, here comes Ruo for two. Stop again by Tatra Demko. 
Oh, that was going to be too close already. But Rue just didn't really think he was going to get two goals at the moment. That's going to be not too much confidence there. They're trying to find another way to get right through it. It was stopped made by the goaltender. Potter. Murau gets it again to make that. Back to get a feeder on shot. Stop made by Tatcha Demko. Freeman with the puck. Right toward the middle. In the wing. Finding the shot. Brings the goalpost off. Oh, in the middle. Trying to go for a post game. And brings the goalpost out. That will end the second period. And that will take care of it. Three ones to score. Vegas will the Knights up again by two. We'll see if the Canucks have an answer back when we take a break and get right back after this. This is where it comes down to the third period of the regulation. It's been a fun while, but we're looking to see if the Canucks get back into the zone or if we can tie this game up. So let's hope there is. All right, guys, I have a little bit of dig here on how they did in the second period. I see how your takes me as, guys. Well, I sure enough like to keep that one out of here at the right moment. I was really, really finding them out how that happened. All it doesn't really take is because they went really trying to keep that skip out of here. But we're one of them for the Canucks to try to get a score. But the Vegas Golden Knights have already been taking things over. When you're in control, you didn't really think they were going to have it happen again. But it didn't seem to appear. They didn't really do well enough. But they're going to have to try to find another, another way to get it tied up. What a stop by Aiden Hill with under 20 minutes in the third. Well, my goodness. Now, I know if I do that, but that's a great stop for Aiden Hill. He made an unbelievable moment. 19-17 left to go in the third period. 3-1 score, Golden Knights. As the win puts up here for the Golden Knights, here's Petrangelo. With 19-10 to go. Slide across in the middle with a shot. It's close, shot's blocked up as a Ronick. Moves it around. Now finds a pass again to Goose. Goose gives it over to Hollander. Hollander sways it across into the road. Gives again a Patterson shot. Big stop by Aiden Hill. 1847 left to go in the third period. Trying to find out if they can get this thing going. Oh, what happened now? I mean, they really didn't appear to anybody, but they have definitely tried to have that in a better range than that. Got a lift, it's in, for the Golden Knights. On his way down. Alex Petrangelo right toward the wing. On and give over to Marjusel, shot stopped by Tempco. 18.31 to go in the third period. Trying to buy an answer in there to get light. Now a chance is ready to make the make. In between Vegas and Vancouver, it's a 3-1 game still. Now the win puts it up for Vegas. Shots blocked. Got a little bit tumbled up there as they give a little bit of an update here for Bluger. Quite well, I was able to talk to one of the Bluegers and what happened is he had that shin, he was been wrapping up there at all that costly. They really mentioned that he had that bad day and this happened to be like with a blocked shot. That happened to be a little bit too much of a problem that again. This one is not trying to be easy enough for him to try to keep that range in, in play. I know he's a little bit uh, in pain right now, but hopefully by the next game, game six, might come in. He scores! Quick news! Heads that game and he goes back down by one. One of them comes back to work and then you'll find out what's going on. Just how next to the news, the quick news, I've got to look at the coming with a slap shot. That's going to be great. Jordan score for the captain. Deliver it in. Have that goal. Great job and the chance effort. Got to go. They're rolling back down. So I'm trying to find an exit here. It's now a 3-2 game in the third period. He's trying to have a nice Saturday. As now McNabb's got it this time at 745 to go in the third. Tries to give over the ball check shot. Stop made by Demko. 1738 to go in the third period. Trying to find an answer in here in between. Now another face off, ready to go. Still now a 3-2 game. Still looking for a tie game between the Vancouver Canucks and the Knights. Now the win puts it in. Taking a shot. It's been off the pad. Let's go off the wall. Now it's back the other way. 
Now we'll try to have it out. Amadio, fouling for the puck game. The changeover back to Miller. And Morgan gets again to Bozart. Bozart trying to make his way in. On the attacker, up a shot. Loses the effort. The closer tries to pick it up over again to Gordon. Here's a shot for Hughes, and this one has been lifted up. JT Miller now finds it again to Hughes. Hughes trying to have it over on the attacking, attacking bound. The learning gets again. On a shot for Hughes, this one's shot. And he scores! McLean had that one with a slapping in the goal. It's now a tie game. Well, you can do a tie down because the Titans get that goal. Great slap shot, great there. Give that one a good effort here, and that wasn't fucked it up, and it's been tied up for a little bit. I've got this, and this is what happened now. That back from the Hughes, that one was directed, and that was Pyatt. He made that shot. What an extra take. It's a tie game between Mikhaev and the Golden Knights. And so now tied up with Reeves. Now we're going to the game for the Vancouver Canucks. A post game with the puck game down. Trying to make his way across. Going to leave for Garland. And it's stopped by Garrett. Another save by Aiden Gill. 16-37 left to go in the third period. Trying to look for another takeover in between. As the player puts it in, there's Brisa. Brisa on his chance. And Primo will have that puck in, now finally get a puck goal skin. Puck goal skin with the puck in now. Here's Fido. Back the airway. Gets a pass. Back, back, puck over again to Brisa. Brisa fires that puck out. Now the chance for Cole. Cole gives it again to Puck goal skin. Under 16 minutes remaining with her, trying to look for a leadoff score for the Canucks. Oh, and a shot, and it's stopped by Aiden Gill. 15.47 left to go in the third period. Trying to get another goal in. Now they're ready for another faceoff. It's a tie game between the Vancouver Canucks and Vegas Golden Knights. The Golden Knights brings the faceoff as Pachangelo gets again to Martinez. Martinez trying to give off to Marcusol. With a leap zone, stop made here by Hemko. Leno has got that puck. Now towards the other side of the wing. The Jags will give it over again to Beeson. 15 20 left to remain in the third. Now it's back and over on the other side. This one blocks that shot. And goes to get a bunch of saw. Great block for stop made by Tatra Demko. Really easy save. That's going to be a little bit of a hard aggression out there. May not be what you're getting, but that is a hard take. It is subtle. Senators across the hockey. Shot stop made by Gill. 1451 left to go in the third period. Looking to get a leadoff score between Vegas or Vancouver. Stephenson wins the face off. The change will now finds Abadillo. Abadillo right toward the right wing, trying to handle it over. With another take, loses the puck control. Now it's Hoffender gives it over again to Sutter. Sutter spins it across around again to Freeman. Moves it over to Cole. Cole on the attack. Here's Pedersen for the lead. Stop made by Aiden Kill. And now it's back to Barbashev again to Martinez. Seven to Try to lift it across. On the lead off. Oh, what a nice chance here for Demko. Mikhaev lost the puck as Amadio will try to give it over back again. Barbara Pass over to Bertangelo. Losing the effort. Now back to Amadio. Again to Bertangelo. Looks to Stephenson. It's blocked. Mikhaev with the puck inbound trying to rail it over. On the other side of the offense look. On his way down, loses the effort. Well, sir, gives it again to Miller. Miller is blocked shot. Connor's got it this time. And back the other way. He gives it again to Pulsar. Pulsar. Spinning it away across down. Use the puck again. Pulsar trying to battle it out. Pulsar. Use that puck. Connor's got it back. Use it his own. Hook it out. And a big save by Dimko. He's got the puck and now he finds it again in Snow. Again, to Mikhaev. Mikhaev right over to Gennabozo. Here's Bozo Chan, Mikhaev for the lead! 
And this one's poked out by Eden Grill. That one is never going to let that one slow and going to get you by that far because it doesn't happen with most of the percentages. They can't let that lose it. And he scores. Alex Pochangelo brought their team back up by one. Now they broke the chain. It's now 4 3 game. I know what the problem happened. It looks like that you didn't really get make the save in time. That potential about that one in there with the slapping in. And it just came off the side of the pad on top of it of the knee. And it just went right toward in the net. He didn't really think it was going to stop, but that didn't really happen at all. That missed it. Now they got a lead. The Golden Knights are back in front. 4-3 to score, trying to get that back into work before heading over to Vegas for a game number six in the series of the second round. Fielder now has to begin to march itself. Looks again, fires a shot. Stop made here by Patrick Dempo. The only team we have so far is the Dallas Stars. They've already won against the Winnipeg Jets, another Canadian team with win, and it's going to be a great matchup takeover here. As this one has been the end of it, and for that moment, we will see what happens if the Narrow Battle comes in. Rangers may not be successful at all. I don't know what's going to happen, but this may not be what they are expecting to. But the win puts it in for the Vegas Golden Knights. He now has to begin the March Assault. March Assault right toward the wing. He went tangled down. Here comes the Ferdy. He will dump the puck out into the Vegas zone. Make that. Firing that puck out of here. And Breeson's got that puck. Waging in. Rolling in for the right wing. The pass over to Paulson. Shot. Big stop by Tatradenko. Paulson moving it over with a shot. Another big save. Now here's a 30. Has it over to Crassel Lindholm. Lindholm trying to get the puck out of here. Lindholm lose the puck. Amadio, back to Lindholm, and the group save. The Giuseppe with the bucket into the wing. He went down on a big hit. McNabb pulls it over again to Bodicek. The second save. Pulls it again to McNabb. McNabb rolls again to Amadio. Off to Bodicek. Save me by Denko. Seventh save. On a big stop, denies the effort on the play. Nearing the midway mark of the period, 4-3. Off and ready to do an air face-off. Canucks still trailing. Need to get this one tied game. Another win puts it in for the Vegas Golden Knights. And Medeo gets the game by down shot. Big stop on the play here. And Barbashev trying to have that puck in. Back to Cole. Again to Slutter. Slutter now will try to have it over again to Cole. Cole moving it over right toward in the middle. Losing the puck effort. Now back to Pedersen. Pedersen the tightest game up, oh, and this one is knocking out of here. Amadio trying to have the puck out. The range again, the seven set. Can't make the win off that easy. And a shot stopped by Demko. We'll hold the play here, we're just under a midway mark of the period. Lots of time left in this period. The Vegas team are up ahead, one. And the win will put it in. Back again for Tangelo. And he's trying to handle it over. Poke it out. Barbashev shot. Nice stop made by the goaltender. And Bozer has the puck out of it. Trying to handle it along. Aim right toward the way. Now finding Mikhaev. JT Miller. Give to get to Bozer. Blocks the shot. With the too many traffic in the way. And the penalty will be called on Vancouver. And that's going to be an interference call. No oh boy, nothing we really gonna call that. That's what happens at Brock Bozer. He just in the penalty box. He did something wrong. That's on you. Get inside the penalty box. And it's not turning to be great enough to have it all. The power play is on for the Vegas Golden Knights as the penalty kill will be on the Vancouver Canucks with 9.02 to go. The win puts it in for Vancouver as Jerusalem will now have it over to fire the puck out. And here's the group of C. He grabs the paint. For sure, and he scores! There's the short-handed goal for the 
the nuts. Now it's a tie game. Was this a big mistake here? Now we have it over. They're not tied it. What a play. Now, I know that I was a good team. That's not what we did there. We're in junior. When you have this still on, he had that kick it over. And he called for the short game, and he just spawned his work in. They brought the team to a tie. Well, as you may already know, it's not happening because the, the short game goal was a guarantee for the bank who was nuts. Big play for the beat, the bank beat, the bank beat. Playing it with a great chance effort. I really like that hustle. When I played Arrow puts an end here for the Golden Knights, they don't really are trying to stop them down. They have nowhere else to go, but that one is starting to be a great play and effort. This offense is putting up a lot of the big number of a work to get right in through it. If the Canucks get this goal, we'll find out if there's another change off. Back to you. And a stop made later by Tatcha Demko. With the comeback rally, here's Cotter. Cotter loses the puck. She breaks the chain, and Rogangelo will have it back out. Cotter over with the shot. Rua trying to leave it out. Zadarov gives it again to Miller. Another turtle kick here for the Vegas, Vegas team. Vegas back in the offensive zone. Reset back again to Barbashev. Barbashev right toward the right wing. Swivel around again to Rua. Fire! Stop made by Tepco. 7.39 to go in the third period. They're trying to find an answer in to get that lead or, or stay even. Now it's the time to make another faceoff. 4-4 four, four is the score. Leaving a short game to go as much as so will have it. Lindholm's got it this time and he will dump the puck out into the Vegas zone. Under 30 seconds for the Vegas power play. Marcus Sells got out across, now finding seventh set. Over now to Amadio, shot. Love saved by Atemko. 7.15 left to go in the third period. Still looking for another takeover. There's another goal between Canucks or Golden Knights. Now the win puts in for the Golden Knights. His time's almost up. Demko makes a stop. 7.09 to go in the third period. Just the power play coming down toward a wire with 7 seconds. 7.09 left to go in the fourth. Even up. And Mark saw. Have a change over. Acceptance is deleted. It's knocked it out. And that's it. The power play is going to be finished for the Golden Knights. Only a short-handed goal for the Vancouver Canucks. Played it really well. Yes, I know. Definitely how to happen here for DeGrupsi. He had that one fucking stealing over. He just made that one running out of here. And he went charging after him. But that one, do you really think that he just had that one to try to say that I'm going to take that puck over? And he's the call as we have it. It's the winner. And I can send it over to Big Rush. Alex Potential has been doing really well in his shutdown ability. You know, the, the playing of this offense is really not thinking what they were they usually really supposed to. I know it's really what they hard one, but that chance, the effort, is putting it way harder than they are expecting to see what they can do. Alex Vincenzo, bigger favorite. Shot stop made by Aiden Gill. March assault. Sprinting across right towards the Canuck zone. Lose the puck. Even gives again to Pedersen. Pedersen, try to battle the puck out of here, and now Freeman will have it. Freeman right around the net. Off in right toward the left wing. Hollander, shot. For the rebound, MC scores! Hollander, the rebound. Now the leadoff is 5-4. Will they stay Hollander now? He's got a great lead. Take it out. Just as I expected that. I couldn't be with Hollander and you in a better tempo. And this one is a great rebound to have its success. Now you're in front. It looks like they wanted to get this one going to wrap the game to win this game. And then head on to Vegas for the sixth day of six the final game. It's necessary. Now the win puts it in for the Vegas Golden Knights. The Vancouver team are up by one. And first high, Demko makes a stop at 536 to go in the third. Now a chance for a ready to take another face off. 
Lockett is still a very tight battle in the range. Vancouver surpasses Vegas 5-4. Now the win puts it in for Changelo. With a shot stopped by Demko. Demko's going to hold it with just only 529 left to go in the goal. Now the teams are already lined up, ready for a puck drop. The win. Here's a shot. Nice glove save by Demko. Oh man, I was never seeing what's going on. That's how you thank Demko. He catches it. I think his light work is coming to be perfect really well. Oh, for sure. For the Golden Knights. Block a shot. Recent shot. Stopped by Demko. 519 to go. Oh, it looks like the fans are really hearing it in Rogers Arena. It seems like that they are just filling it up. They are supplying it. They are serving it off to the goaltender. They're really having so much fun. Yes, of course they are. I know that happened to be a little bit of a changing off of the situation. I say that the Golden Knights are really trying to make things tough. And I think the Canucks are really are supplying them really well. And I think that might be a great way to salute to them. Serve them up. Give them some respect. Give them what they've got. Martinez losing the puck effort as he grabs the puck back. Reset over to Marchesol. Shot stopped by Demko. Oh man, they are getting tired out there for the Canucks, but I think the Golden Knights want to tie this game. So it's another one coming with the faceoff, 92 over 90 passing effectiveness. That faceoff win gets it for Genzo. Martinez shot. Stop, mate. Leader by the goaltender. Freeman gets it again to Moser. Moser moves across the middle of shot. Big save on the play by Aiden Gill. 424 left to go in the third. Under siege and ready for the faceoff. Next one could be in there for, for the Canucks if they get this lead off to extension. For the Canucks to tie this game. Tired of skin. Here's the jungle. Up there, way to bump shot. And it's broken up. JT Miller back the airway. With the chance to be cut it. Shot blocked and redirected it all the way into the corner. Martinez gets it into the jungle. Amadio right into the sprinting down. A chance over we get a second ten. We're a tie. The Warden takes a puck away. The Warden trying to spell it up. Miller. Now trying to have an answer. Over with the shot. Stop bait. Father Chef gets again to Martinez. Martinez right toward into the left right wing. On a shot for Ty Dunco. What a save. Just 318 left in the third. So, got to hold on tight now. I mean, that's what Demko's really doing. I mean, trying to have that one selected in. I mean, he's just saying, keeping that buck out of here for a great amount of time. The gap shot takes it away. As Fuse has it over. 313 left to go. As so, bumps it up into the center rights. Carlson trying to get it back into it. Bumps it out. Fuse has got that puck. Rolling in from leaving the weave zone. It's a game of a warning shot. Loses that puck effort as three to record back to McNabb. 245 left to go as Peter will have the puck in back. Trying to roll in across. The pass over. Hollander with the steal. Finding his way as Priestley gets it back to Carlson. Loose the play. Tactic Demko makes it over save. Who's gets again a Bob Colston? Colson. Lose that puck again to Barbershop, and now Theodore will have happen with two minutes to go. Looks like they wanted to bring an extra skater on if they can get there. One timer stop bait by Tatra Demko. Amadio! No, sir! No! Veronic puts it back the air away. Hughes just got that puck. 143 left to go in the third in the regulation. Buckle skip. In the corner now, finding the end to Lumbo. The pass to Garland. Garland. All the way now, finding Fyodor to get Martinez. Trying to bump him out of here. 
Stephenson, lose the puck. Lewis Leonard with the Popolski shot. Lead to cross. Behind the net. Popolski. Gift again to Lindholm. Final minute remaining in the third. Stop! Right there's a the goal! Freeman takes it in and the air puts up for the Vegas team. Just like that, the Vegas team wins the Stanley Cup. Just like that, the Vegas team wins the Stanley Cup. I think it's going to happen now. I think they're going to go back to Vegas. Man advantage is on. Carlson trying to hand it over. Freeman takes it over. Hollander on his way down. Off to Sutter. Shot. Missed the target. Pochangelo now has it again at Denisenko. 40 seconds of reigning in the third. Has an answer timing. Hollander losing his way. Back to Enrico for 30 seconds. And Hollander will try to race it forward. For the show game, for the, for the reaching over the strip, and they will win it. The Canucks now puts back up the lead 3 2 in the series, and you can end this game in Rogers Arena. Well, that's when you get over the sofa, that's when the game guard goes to the win. That is when the great shot, great chance, great win. An incredible score. But it's Sutter with another goal in the playoffs. For 27 seconds left, 7 4. Vegas Golden Knights trying to have an answer in there. 20 seconds left, here's a shot. What a save by Demko. Just coming down right toward the wire with only 20 seconds left to go in the third. Fans are making a thunderous applause. The Canucks are making the win during the game. The win off. Machangelo misses. Cross it. Fires it. Misses wide. Final shot. Misses and the save. One more time. And that's going to end here. Canucks win the game in game 5 7 4 is your final score. Game 5, roll out. Back to the better scores happen to be Tangent Tempo with amazing save. You put it up in with the comeback run, and you can win it all. Great stop here. That's what connects. Get it done. What a great team this is. We salute to the fans, and we just really appreciate you them. All happens now, all for once. That's going to end game for the game. With OJ and Silver Spoon, I'm Boomer. And Payne Personal Center Ice, this is for a presentation of the Stanley Cup Playoffs in EA Sports. Peace out, and good night in Vancouver. All right, thank you so much here, guys. Time for three star players of the game. Quick news with the goal, assisted with 11 hits, having an uh, unbreakable moment. Then the second star goes to Nellis Hogland there with one goal, one assist, and seven hits. Had took in the big one out there with a rebound effort to stop the goaltender in. And your first star player goes to Tatcher Demko with 87 saves. Great effort with the light work ability. He said it all. Great assigning of the mic. And happens now what they are just going for. Great takes. Never seen what they always call for Vancouver Canucks. They are really are trying to battle it up. Hopefully this will be a win to get in to the Western Conference Finals. And this might be a great day, day for the everybody's hockey game. So here's how you did with the total statistics. 91 over 66 for Vancouver Canucks. And it was 68 over 64 for Vancouver Canucks. Then the Golden Knights with 91 over 66. 6.49 over 6.01 time on attack for, Ve for Vegas. And then it was 92 over 90 percentage of the passing for Vancouver Canucks. 55 over 16 for Van Vegas Golden Knights. The four minute penalty kills on both teams and one power play goal for Vegas with 3.07. And a short handed goal for Vancouver Canucks. How does it feel now? You definitely got to play it for the wheel. Well, I might say what could be in there, but I would say it's like, it's been great enough to have it in there. Why don't we give us their credit? Why not? Well, it's a big moment. A big guy. It's always come. God, take it all. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Well, that's all that happens to you there, Sniper. And it's going to be taken over. Our great ones to take. And that's going to do here for Game 5. And the next one on its way is Game 6. As we've got an approachment between the Maple Leafs and the Bruins back at Scotia Bank Arena. That's happening here at 8 p.m. And then the other game that will be happening here will be NBA. As you've got a great matchup between the Thunders and the Wolves at 9.30 game at tar back at Target Center. And then following along with the next couple games, next two games, days of the game, this will be all for the great ones to take. As the Hurricanes battle against the Lightning, that will be the other game that's happening here at 8 p.m. Then 9.30 p.m. will be the Golden Knights facing against Vancouver. That will be a win or go home for the next couple of days. In the meantime, that's it for now. And in the last two and the last game on the other side, only we'll have one game left for Eastern Conference. 8.30 game. That will be what takes Cavaliers against the Heat. In the meantime, thank you for joining my class, and I hope I'll see you all again next time. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports Style. This is Son of Beast on Sniper the Beast. Peace out, partner. Until next time, good night in Vancouver. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.